Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about XPath query predicate in Power Center XML. The agenda of this video is to see what is XPath, when can we use XPath query predicate and then we'll see a quick demo on the same. What is XPath? XML path or XPath is a query language which is used to select nodes in an XML document and perform computations. It describes a way to locate the items in an XML file. XPath uses an addressing syntax based on the root through the hierarchy from the root to an element or attribute. When do we need XPath? We need XPath query predicate to filter the source XML data. Sometimes if we want to filter the source XML data, we can use this instead of creating a filter transformation. We can filter XML data by creating XPath query predicate in a view row or in a column beneath the view row in an XML hierarchy. The XML editor adds the XPath query predicate to the view row XPath. The integration service will extract the data from the XML source file and will provide the extracted data for the view if the query provided is correct. We have given one of the example where we are trying to extract the employee detail where the last name is a Smith. In this example, you can see that the name is the element of the employee and the name is the parent of the last name. So creating query like this, we will be able to extract the data depending upon the conditions from the XML source file. It is more like creating a query with a WHERE clause for a relational database. So let us quickly go and see the demo of the same. For the purpose of demo, I am using this employees.xml file which is present in the client installation directory of Informatica. I have just renamed it as employees underscore one for better understanding. So first I will create the XML source by importing my employees.xst. So I will just click next and I will create hierarchical relationship and we will click finish. We will now double click on this and bring up the XML editor. Now I will just choose employees and go to XML preview and preview the data. So here I will select the employees.xml to see the data. Once I click OK, you will be able to see the list of all the records which are present in this XML file. Here you can see that there are 10 records present with the different names and uh, all the other details. So let us go and see how we can put filters for this. So first of all, we'll go ahead and see and uh, try to find out the employee which has the last name as a Smith. So let me go ahead and do that. For that, we have to select the X employee view and then you can see here, you will see view row X path. So once I click on this, here you see that specify query predicate for X path has been appeared. So now I will go ahead and select employee and here you will see all the columns which were there in my employees have appeared here. So now I will just select last name and will provide the value as Smith. You can also validate the query by just clicking on this button. You can see that predicate passes successfully. So now let's click OK. So once I click OK, you'll have to preview the data once again. So we'll have to just select our XML once again. So once I click that, you will be able to see that we have the data only with the last name as a Smith. So let's go ahead and try to do some other things. So I'll just close this. I'll again, we'll go and modify the same. Yeah, 
Also, one more thing to note here is you can see that the view row X path is employees slash employees last name equal to Smith. So this shows the X path query predicate which has been used. I'll just click that again. And now we are going to select employee ID and we'll give the value as greater than 100. We'll validate this query now and then we'll click OK. So once you click that, you will see that XPath again has changed and we'll just go and preview this data again. Again, we'll have to select the employee XML file and you can see that all the employees which have the employee ID greater than 100 has been listed here. Now we'll go ahead and see how to add multiple queries here. So I'll again go here, click on employee and we'll see the employee IDs which are greater than 100 and We'll add one more condition. So we'll go and add and and we'll add department equal to fin. We'll validate this query. We can see that it's passed successfully and we'll click OK. So here you can see the text path again got modified with both the details. Now we'll go and preview the data again. We'll select the XML again. And here you will be able to see the employee details where the department is FIN and the employee ID is greater than 100. So we can go ahead and save these changes. And once the changes are saved, we can close this. So basically you can use this whenever you want to filter your source data instead of bringing it completely into the power center and using the filter transformation to filter the, filter the data. With this, we finish our demo session. You can refer to our knowledge base articles in case you face any issues while doing the same. You can also refer to our command reference guide. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infosupport. Thank you so much for your time.